Uh oh. Uh oh. You're not what I'm recording for. Go away. I just noticed way out in front of me here. Might be able to see it. We have an albino level three water buffalo out here. Super cool. I just shot a munchak. I don't know where it ran off. Oh, uh, right there. Oh, uh, oh my god. That, that tracked me so well. And good. We got it in the water. That uh, We almost got knocked out. That would have been kind of funny, actually. Hey, there's a big level four munchak. Where did that... Oh, there she is. See if we can get her to stop. That should do it. The other one is like inside of it though. That's gonna make it a little well, maybe not difficult. Never mind. And we heart shot her. Alright, we got an albino down. I'm also gonna take out that little four month jack we had over here. Let's get a little bit closer to him before we take that shot, though. Uh, no, I can take it from here. <laughs> that should be fine. Wait for him to stop. There we go. That'll drop him pretty quickly. And naturally, he's going to float. So he ran into the water immediately. A little annoyed about that. So now we kind of have to wait here. Because he's going to float all the way to where we're at. All right, but uh, yeah, we got an albino water buffalo down. We gotta run and grab her. Maybe we can see her there. Let me just mark her so I don't lose her. And that's exciting. I, I, this is gonna be my first rare water buffalo. Um, so we're gonna see how good the new models look with these rares. Mr. Munchak, right? Munchak was just a thirty-three point six eight scoring, so little bit below diamond. I don't know if level 4 Muntjac can make diamond, but I have seen a lot of the uh, species on this reserve do make diamond, one below their max level. So I have a pretty good feeling that Muntjac would be the same. But I, I don't know. I have not gotten that confirmed, so that'll be something to figure out in the future. But we gotta get around there now to get that water buffalo. And now that we've run this way, I'm thinking this might be our fastest route, so we're gonna go do that. And here is our water buffalo, and that is, wow, that does, it just looks so good. The new model looks fantastic as well, with the little, you know, hair on the ears there, the actual fur itself, oh, just so good. Wow. Let's see if we can get a little, oh yeah, we can get a really nice picture here. Look at that. All right. Here we go. Just a little bronze female albino water buffalo. That's okay. It's an albino. An albino is an albino. I love, like, for me, the rares are what make this game. Diamonds are so cool. Yeah, especially for ones that have horns and antlers. You know, seeing the big ones, super cool. But for me, what makes the game is the rares. And this is a rare I do not have, so this was... Really cool to get. It looks a lot pinker in the harvest screen. It could just be the harvest screen because the lighting is different, but incredible. That's so cool. And I almost like uh, I wasn't recording when I first saw it, and I kind of saw it in the distance and just looked like a big white, you know, mass was moving. It's like that. <laughs> that has to be rare. I don't know why I just made that weird noise. <laughs> yeah, that was so cool. Um, I can't wait else. Wait, else? I can't wait to see what else I find out there. And hopefully that's a sign of some, some more cool things to come. All right. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. And we are here. We have a snow leopard that we're tracking right here. Just found this, this rest zone for them. And checking. It is a max weight estimate snow leopard. So we're going to go after this. I was going to go after it regardless. Um, but seeing that it's a max weight estimate has me very excited. Um, we are a bit late to uh, finding it, so we're probably going to be tracking it for a bit before we actually locate it. But I just wanted to kind of update because this is very exciting for me. I've only I've only found two snow leopards, I want to say, so far. I haven't been playing as much as I would like to, but regardless, we're on the track 
of our first max weight snow leopard, and that's exciting. Okay, 60 to 90 meters away, we got a warning call. Not great, not what I meant to do, but we're getting closer. We've tracked this thing so far. We started down here. Just in insane. And right when we're about to get over this little, you know, ridge, right where we got our warning call, it starts to snow. That is not perfect timing. I don't know what is. Oh, that's a fox. That didn't mean to oh, it's a legendary snow leopard. I don't know how. I'm happy I was able to spot him. Oh my goodness. Okay. Unattentive. Um, I just need you to stand up. Okay, it's gonna alert. Got my rifle ready. Just need you to. <laughs> okay, we got we got our first legendary snow leopard down. It's also a Tibetan fox over here. Right there. It's what? It's a legendary Tibetan. Okay. Oh, calm down. Calm down. Calm down. I'm. I'm not. You're. You're not calm. Ooh. Okay. We. I hope that wasn't a brain shot. But we just dropped a nine legendary snow leopard and a nine legendary Tibetan fox. Less than twenty meters from each other. Oh my goodness. Wow. And it is a diamond 29.21 diamond snow leopard. I am so happy. Oh my goodness. Our first diamond from Sundar Patan is a snow leopard, the most elusive animal on the map. 29.21, 70.91 kg. Wow. That's 70 kg seems like it might be the cutoff for like the weight for diamond or at least close to it so that is that is incredible that we managed to get that oh my goodness only a two kilometer tracking distance so not as far i did track a max weight woolly hair a lot further than that uh on release day on my release day stream but wow 
That's incredible. So there's our snow leopard. We taxidermied him. Now we've got to find wherever the fox kind of fell down to. Um. Wow. As soon as I spotted that and I saw the nine, that was just crazy. I don't want to know what fur type it is until we, we find it. Okay, it is... We do have vital organ, so I feel like we, we got into the lungs there. I'm just... I'm hoping so much now we didn't accidentally just brain shot this thing on the trot. Wow. All right, here's our fox. It was a troll. <laughs> we did lung it, which is good. And it trolled by 0 0.06. Well, that's okay. I'm a little upset because I love the Tibetan fox, especially seeing how many different fur types they have. It's just incredible. I'm really going to be looking forward to hunting more of these guys. Definitely upset that this one trolled. Uh, pretty glad, though, that I didn't miss the um, uh, the vitals there, though. So it would have been a lot worse if I shot it and it would have been a diamond that I that I messed up that, rather than it just trolling outright. That, that I'm a little more okay with. Definitely still sad that we didn't get two diamonds like that. That would have been just absolutely crazy but this is still really awesome i am super happy with this and just wow what a great hunt and i've really just been hunting at at night at this time trying to discover uh what some of the later zones are um the fact that that snow leopard zone is still there makes me feel like i have another snow leopard so i might go check that out um that's interesting. And, but yeah, we've been kind of filling in the uh, the later time zones. Uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, there is a Call of the Wild spreadsheet uh, that was created by someone named A.A. Rot or Aaron01220. Uh, but he has not been updating the sheet lately. I believe it's something he just doesn't have time for anymore, something of that matter. Uh, and so I've t kind of taken up the mantle, I guess, uh, of copying it, uh, uh, the spreadsheet and updating it. So I've been just trying to spend my time filling in all the zones that we don't have yet. And I've gotten a good amount of them. So that's awesome. And in doing that, it led me to uh, my first time in on Sundarpatan, which is awesome. And I know I'm probably not saying that right, but that's okay. Like, I don't mind. Um, incredible. I'm going to head back to the lodge now that we have... Uh, a diamond and a, and a rare to display. So we're gonna do that after after I check out this uh, this snow leopard zone down here, just in case. And maybe I'll go back to this one as well, just to see if there's still some tracks there from a max weight, or just a, a snow leopard in general. That'll be worth checking, I think. And we're gonna go do that. And I will. Well, we'll see where I see you next. And here we are in our lodge, and we've got our new diamond snow leopard right here. Wanted to do a full body platform for this one because they are just so beautiful. And I am just, the models look so good. Like, I, I don't know what else to say. It, it genuinely sitting there reminds me of one of my cats. Um, just a beautiful model. Great hunt, super memorable. Super happy to have gotten it. We moved the jackal that was right there, right above. Uh, so it's just up there. Um, and then for our albino water buffalo, we've actually put her into our albino room. So we've got a room full of albinos, most of them not super large. And then there, ooh, I can't walk between that. Sorry, uh, Mr. Kangaroo. And there is our albino water buffalo on the wall on one of the bigger, well, has to be on one of the biggest plaques, but yeah, just incredible, super happy with this. The The new model looks great, even though you can't see most of it on here. Um, it's still here, and I, I love it. I, I'm looking forward to fully filling this room with albino trophies, because we're getting pretty close. Um, I mean, maybe not as close <laughs> as I thought, but... Um, Still getting a lot closer, and that's just incredible. Sundar Patan has been such an incredible experience, and I'm so happy with everything we've gotten so far. And that's going to do it, though, for this video. So thank you so much, especially if you made it this far. I appreciate you so, so much. But you're now leaving the danger zone, so stay safe out there.
and I hope to catch you back here next time. Bye.